Thank you, both. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Okay. Um, actually, this uh, I don't want to sell you anything. Uh, I just would like to put on the table uh, a possible common base for future uh, common um, uh, development of uh, common business because we are all actors of the same business and my target is to try to add value to seven boards. This is my target of this presentation. And in order to, to do this, I would like to share with you our uh, experience. We started thinking in uh, producing a seven board in 2007. And we, it took about five years of investment, work, and a lot of thoughts how to do it. And I would like to share a little bit our thoughts in order to see if this can be a win-win approach that can help us in uh, meeting us maybe in next year or in two years at the third uh, global uh, conference. Because we believe that if the cake, so the business or assignment board is bigger, it will be an advantage for everybody. Um, this is my presentation, <coughs> not important. This is a concept. Those numbers are our uh, evidence of many of the Italian market. I'm talking of, uh, when I talk of salmon board, I'm talking of lightweight salmon board with uh, fiber uh, reinforcement. This is the kind of product that we do produce. And my idea, our target is trying to increase the market share of the lightweight selling board compared to other products. So that tomorrow the goal is to increase our market and to reduce maybe the slice of other products. And in order to come out with a product, we started with an old uh, fashion uh, marketing matrix. That, so you can approach a market by going to the same market, so the old market, and, or to a new market. And you can go there with uh, an old product or with a narrative product. This was the approach. And after studying this, we thought that the best way is trying to go to a new market so that we can make our market, or our common market, bigger. And in order to do this, we thought that you need also a new product to increase <coughs> the market. And when we talk about new market, there are a lot of options, of course. And we focus mainly on those three options. One is wet rooms or humidity environment. And I call this a new market, not because it's a really new market, but I mean it's a new market uh, if we think that there are a lot of very good materials that are used, from my point of view, in a wrong situation. As we learned yesterday from Craig, from National Gypsum, for example, the uh, green gypsum board, um, I mean green, green paper gypsum board, it is used a lot of times in bathroom, for example. And I've learned that since 2006 it is banned in the United States to use this material, for example, in showers. So this is an option, this is an opportunity for selling board to enlarge its own market. Another option could be to use the selling board as a high resistance board, or to use the board in fire protection, for example. And we decided as a company to focus on uh, the wet rooms, humidity environments. And I would like to spend some words why should be used the sanding board instead of other materials. When we talk of the green paper gypsum board, we believe that uh, the use of sanding board is important because the green paper cement, uh, gypsum board at the end is a still paper gypsum board. And the paper is exactly the same like the standard board. The only difference is the color. So this means that if you put something on the board, you are gluing something to the paper. Not only this, but also the core material is gypsum. And you know the problem of gypsum in case of wet rules. And for this reason, we know that the cement board has completely different performance in this case, so in case of wet rooms or in case of exterior application. 
Craig yesterday, uh, National Gypsum is a big producer, for example, of uh, uh, plaster board, and they also produce cement board, and they also produce special uh, gypsum board, because each product has its own application. So we believe that uh, in case of wet rooms, the cement board is the right product. <coughs> Another possible market for us, for the cement board, is what is called the magnesium oxide board. I think it is well known around the world that the magnesium oxide bore, um, in case of uh, wet rules, uh, create corrosion on metal. So this is the reason why uh, some important uh, consultant in the building sector uh, um, suggest not to use magnesium oxide bore in this kind of uh, applications. This is an example I found on the web from Australia. There are examples in the United States from the ECCES, and you can find a lot of them on the web, but also in the praxis. So, coming back to our matrix, um, we decided to try to enlarge our market, the market of the sending board, and at the same time, we thought that this is possible only if we create an innovative product. How could we do that? We started from the, um, from the market, trying to understand who are our customers, who are the customers of the same board. And there are a lot of them. I have learned this uh, in New Orleans uh, during a presentation for a gypsum board, but this, the customer are actually the same customer. The customer is not only the dealer or the distributor, the customer is not only the installer, but the customer are a lot of customers we have on the market. From the architect, retailer, the owner, even the government is our customer. Because the government can give specification which kind of material to use in a specific um, situation. The government can say, use for example, non-combustible material, in a certain application. And those customers, those customers, they have different buying criteria. For example, the price of the board is important usually for the distributor, the contractor. But the price of the system is important not only for them, it's also important for the installer. The quality actually should be important for everybody but mainly it's important for the architect, for the contractor, the owner of the building, also for the government, because they are usually uh, controlling, for example, if you have a, a certain kind of fire rate uh, system. Certification are important for the architect, for the, for the um, government, but also for the distributors. I put together specification and certification. The delivery and availability of the product is important for the distributor and for the contractor because they need to find the material. And then, not only for the installer but also for the owner distributor, it's very important how to install the product. I think yesterday Robert mentioned that uh, it's important to have a multi-person product or one-person product. It makes a difference. It's not only the price of the board that makes the difference. So, uh, we decided to work on some of those points, of course. We left something for the next generation product. Um, and we decided to focus on the price of the system, not only on the board, but the system. Because at the end, you are not buying only the board, you are buying the complete system, the fi final solution. On the quality of the product, because uh, I believe the selling board is a high quality product. This is a way that we believe you can sell the product, a high quality product, high technological product, a product which solves problems. And then also the certification, because in order to let the people understand that this is the cement board is a high quality product, we need to prove it with certification, with, uh, I say papers, but they are also important, proven by 
um, first class uh, institute, first class uh, laboratory. And then, very important for us, the way to install the product. Because the guy, the person who is installing the product is very important. He, sometimes he is the one who decides to use one product or the other one. And so we came out with our product. Sorry, this is, I go <laughs> fast. That was the name of our product. I don't want to sell anything I told you. But I want to explain you the philosophy. So we tried to make something new on the market because we want to get rid of the point of weakness that Robert told us yesterday. He told us that there are some weakness on the seven board. I took note of some of them. He told us about the weight of the product of the salmon board, the cutting of the salmon board, the dust of the salmon board, because if you need a, a, a saw, an electric saw, you will have a lot of dust in the room, which could be a problem because of the dust, uh, but also because of, of some safety reason. And then I remember he mentioned the multi-person uh, problem, and he mentioned also the screwing problem. So. We thought if we want to make our market bigger, we want to enlarge our business, we need to find a better product. We have to find out new things. And the first step we did was to take one very important point of stress on the gypsum board. That is, that you can cut the material with a knife. So our product at the moment, you can cut exactly the same like the gypsum. This means that a lot of external they will not have headache anymore by using the same board. So the market can be bigger for everybody. And this will influence, of course, uh, the uh, price of the product and the installation of the product. And the second point, we came up with a product that you can screw exactly like the gypsum board. What does it mean exactly like, like the gypsum board? That it's fast, easy, and you are not breaking the product on the, on the edge, which is an important point, because the edge, when you put the screw, is a very important um, point for the quality of the system. And this also will influence the price and the installation. Then I remember Robert saying, point of weakness of the cement board is the weight. It was the weight. Because now our product is about 17% lighter than the standard cement board. We are around 160 kilo per cubic meter. So one square meter is around 12 kilos. And this combined to the dimension. We decided to go with a little bit smaller dimension, 2 meter by 1.2. Why this? So that one person can handle the board. So this was an answer to the multi-person or one-person uh, product that I heard uh, yesterday. And I think this is also a very positive point to make cement board more common in the market. Another point that we achieved, and it is very important, and we have seen yesterday one slide from the swimming pool with a very flexible board, is that our board, the standard board, is at the same time flexible at a certain, to a certain point. But with this kind of flexibility, with the standard board, you are able to do this kind of roofing. I don't know how does it work. No, it doesn't work. This is a, a roofing, this is a very big uh, building. Uh, in uh, Doha, and it has been done with the standard board, just to show you the flexibility of this uh, board. And this is important because it allows the architect to use a cement board also for a curved situation. So once again, let's make our market a little bit bigger. And then uh, the last point, but very important, is that all of us, at least our the producer of the cement board, we have to qualify our board. It's not enough to say my board is the best. We have to prove this. 
And so we suggest everybody to work in this direction to make ETA or ETA certification, CE marking, factory production control, to give fire rate to the product. And we have done some step in this direction, of course, uh, uh, everybody can do more, but we believe that this is important. For instance, for our product, we have done, we have the A1 non-combustibility certification, and this is important. If you use the green paper gypsum board, they are not A1. And if I can choose between two products, why not ch uh, to choose one with A1 certification? I'm sure the government, architects, and even the owner would be happy about this. And this is interesting because if there is an accident, there is a fire in a building, after four hours, Aquafire, our salmon uh, board, is still there. Four hours and the product is still there, like it was at the beginning. This is important because after a fire, I'm sure, at least in Italy, they will look for the guilty person. If you have used the gypsum board, you will have this situation. Of course, the Egyptian board has also the fire rate certification. But the police or the fire department, they will find this. If you use a, a salmon board, at least our salmon board, you have this situation after four hours. And you have this one, the pain, maybe after 30, 60 minutes, depending on the fire rate. And I learned also in New Orleans that uh, not only collapse, but they, they lose about 38% in volume during the finals. So this is also another very important point that we have to know about semi -port. And then it resists to humidity, and we have to prove this. We have done the, uh, um, some tests following the N12467. We have got category A. I don't know if you are familiar with this, but this means that you can use the board outside at the worst condition, weather condition, sun, rain, snow. You can even use it in New York uh, during this day. And this is important, because if you have other boards, you cannot mark the board with this snow. We have seen, unfortunately, in uh, Europe, some NGO board marked with the norm EN 12467. And this is not allowed. Even the Italian judge has given a sentence in the same that is not allowed to mark the NGO board with this note. You can do the test with this note, but you cannot mark C the board with this note. This norm is made for calcium silicate board and cement board. Not even the gypsum board, the green paper gypsum board, can be marked with this one. Because they are different products. They cannot be used where the cement board. We, as Aquafire, and the name says this, we want to use the uh, cement board also in the fire application. This is also the reason why the name. And then we have done also an ETA, ETA certification, actually in UK, in Warrington, because we believe that this gives more point of strength to the board, to the board, to the product. So coming back to us, we are trying to enlarge our market, and we came out with those points of strength, trying to solve some problem of the same. And, of course, uh, we are a small company, but the result we have had in the last two years, because we came out at, at the end of 2012 with the board on the market, are saying that we were all right. That the cutting, the screwing, the weight, the flexibility of the product, together with the, the qualification of the product is working. And we believe that even the market, we have taken maybe a part of the market share from some other producer, but mainly we have made the market bigger, which is from us the first important thing. The other seven producers are my partner in a certain way. They are not my I'm competitor, but in the same business. 
I always say we have to make the cake bigger, then we will fight for the slice. But first, let's make the cake, otherwise there's nothing to fight. So this is actually my presentation. I don't know if I'm right in time, Bob. Okay, I was a little bit concerned about that. Uh, so that was my contribution, and, but actually this should be the starting point for a common talk about that. How can we uh, be here next year with a bigger market for everybody? So I'm waiting for your maybe proposal and suggestion how to work.